Right, uh, tales of heroism and bravery brought back the past at an RAF base today as Lancaster bomber veterans were reunited with the aircraft for what will probably be the last time. The eight veterans who would have made up a full crew on the bomber met at RAF Coningsby in Lincolnshire thanks to the RAF Association. Julie Knox was there for Forces News. The baby of the bunch here is 86, the oldest 97. Although these men haven't flown together, between them they make up a full crew and it's as if they last sat in her yesterday. It turns around 180 degrees and when I move to get that up, the guns go up. When I go like that, they go down. And when I press these triggers, you'll disappear. Did you ever feel sick? No, not in the Lancaster, but I did when I did my training on Avro Anson's. I was a bit squeezy. The only time I felt sick in here is when we did violent corkscrews. That's a manoeuvre to get away from a German night fighter. So this little image that we have here of the skeleton smiling as he throws out the bombs, that was your function? More or less, yes, making sure that the bombs hit the target. For how many raids, Ralph? Well, there was a, a, almost a tour, and the war was over before I completed it. So what, 18 months? Yes. I, I, I think that the... Um, the main thing is we fly on the Lancaster with the crew as a comrades and uh, we more or less flew like brothers all the time, each dependent on, on the other. Same crew, same plane same, all the time. Same crew, same plane and also the fact that we relied on each other so we gave 110% all the time we were flying. That's why we're standing here as, uh, as, as free men and women, isn't it, of course, because uh, these are the guys that, that took the war to Germany and, and 55,300 of them paid the ultimate sacrifice and never came home. And when you tell people now, 70 years on, that this is where you sat and this is the role that you did, how do you feel about it? Proud. I'd only been in a car twice when I joined the Air Force. No one had a car. You either walked, bust or shanks as pony. And it was one great consolation. We all got the best girls. Flight engineer Stan Franks left hospital in Essex at five this morning. He has to be readmitted tonight, but he'd not seen the Lancaster since 1945, and he wasn't going to miss this chance. Julie Knox, Forces News, RAF Coningsby.